As performers of Mozart's sonatas, one important choice open to us is to embellish his notated texts. For some of us, this has become a defining characteristic of our playing when we perform Mozart, and not just on the level of the individual performance, but as part of our general practice, that is to intervene creatively to varying degrees when we engage with his texts. This practice effectively treats Mozart's notation as something to be worked with rather than strictly obeyed, a point along a continuum rather than its end point. But wherever we are along that particular path of intervening with Mozart's notated texts, we do need benchmarks for questioning our own practice. That's the point I want to explore here within the first and second movements of the B-flat sonata K570, composed in 1789. There's plenty of evidence from Mozart's own time supporting the intervention of the player beyond the notes on the page. And from the point of view of the modern player, the evidence is wonderfully contradictory. I'll look at two aspects. First, the question of where to intervene, and secondly, the nature of that intervention. Johann Joachim Krantz, writing in 1752, holds to the Italianate view that florid embellishment should be applied to repetitions of phrases or sections. Typically, his advice is that wider intervals within a melody should be judiciously filled in with stepwise movement in shorter note values, and that important melodic notes should be highlighted by adding dissonant grace notes, so drawing greater attention to these moments. A good example within the slow movement of Mozart's K570 occurs in the second half of the first section, which I'll play first as Mozart notated it, and secondly with Italianate embellishments in the repeat. Franz is clear that the player should pay attention not just to the melodic shape in itself, but equally to its harmonic context. The added melodic embellishments must always fit the prevailing harmonic successions. But he also notes that added embellishments must respect the affect, that is the emotional state, of the original. This is quite easy to demonstrate from the middle episode of K570, which I'll play first, as Mozart notated, and then with embellished repeats retaining the original affect, and then again with repeats moving into a different and perhaps less appropriate affect.
Schiphol Mozart writing in his tutor for the violin, first published in 1756, was even more frugal than Bach in his approach. Embellishments of the Krantz variety are hardly discussed at all, and even then restricted to solo playing. For Leopold, the important thing is to be able to read the notated score for its coded messages, knowing where the composer intends ornamentation and to apply it judiciously in such places, and, just as important, where not to, where to leave well alone. An example that Leopold gives us. It's incorrect to add upper note appoggiaturas in places where the main harmony note is already preceded by an appoggiatura, thus detracting from the dissonant effect already crafted by the composer. A good example of this from the slow movement of K570 occurs in bar 23. I'll play this firstly as Mozart notated it, and secondly with added embellished appoggiaturas in those places where Mozart has already written in an appoggiatura, giving an illustration of the kind of inappropriate effect Leopold Mozart refers to.